What does bay mean in English? Hmm, is this even a word? This is a question I get from my students all the time because this expression, bay, is all over the internet, all over movies, popular songs as well, but students just don't know what it means. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what bay means. We'll look at some example sentences of how you can use it, and I'll tell you if you should use this expression or not. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com, and let's dive in and learn this expression, bay. Now first, before I tell you, let me know in the comments, do you know what bay means? Hmm, say yes or no. And if you said yes, well then tell me, what does it mean? We'll see. Okay, so bay is actually an acronym, which means that each letter stands for a word, just like FYI stands for for your information. FYI is an acronym. BAY is also an acronym. And it stands for before anyone else. BAY, before anyone else. And listen to the pronunciation. It's very simple. BAY, repeat, BAY, BAY. Okay, before anyone else. Well, does that really clarify what BAY is or how to use it? <laughs> Before anyone else, we use this in a romantic context for someone you're in a romantic relationship with, generally a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but it could also be someone that you just really, really, really like, even though you're not technically their boyfriend or girlfriend, someone you have a crush on or someone you're dating as well. So in all of these categories, you can refer to that person as your Bay. So just like you would say, my girlfriend, you can say, my bae. And just like you could say, my boyfriend, you can say, my bae. So notice, of course, girlfriend is used for women, boyfriend is used for men. Bae is gender neutral. You can use it for anybody, it doesn't matter, and it doesn't change at all, there's no difference. So it stands for boyfriend, girlfriend, or any other term of endearment, such as sweetheart, honey, sugar, love of my life, all of these things, you could just use bae. You're my bae, you're my sweetheart, you're my boyfriend, you're the love of my life, you're my bae. Okay, so that's what it means, and how to use it is very simple because you would just replace it with boyfriend or girlfriend. But let's look at a couple example sentences. So you could say, went to a movie last night with my bae. Went to a movie last night with my bae. Just like you would say, went to a movie last night with my girlfriend or with my boyfriend. Now, in that context, Bay, of course, is a noun because it stands for a person, right? It'd be like saying, went to a movie last night with Suzanne, my bay, or went to a movie last night with Rashid, my bay, right? So it's a noun. And sometimes you might hear it without a possessive in front of it. You would never hear that with boyfriend or girlfriend. It's always went to a movie last night with my boyfriend, my girlfriend. But with bae, some people say, went to a movie last night with bae. So just notice, it is acceptable to leave out the possessive with bae, and you will probably see that online as well. Okay, another example sentence, you could say, going on vacation next month with my bae going on vacation next month with my bae. So hopefully when to use it is quite simple because it just replaces boyfriend or girlfriend. 
All right, so we got that covered. You know what it means, how to pronounce it, and when to use it. Now, perhaps the most important part of this video. Should you use it? Hmm. Honestly, it's a matter of personal preference. Only you can decide if you want to use the expression. Now, if you haven't noticed or you haven't guessed, bay is definitely slang, which means we use it in a more casual, conversational tone. It's not something you would use in a business email or a business meeting or an academic context, for example. However, if you're out with your friends in a casual situation, absolutely, you can use it. Now, you should know that bay is a trend, which means it's extremely popular, but for a short period of time. Now, it's extremely popular because you hear it on movies, on songs, celebrities say it, and then all of a sudden, everybody is saying it. It's used all over the internet. But I bet five years from now, nobody's going to say it because it's a trend. And five years from now, I'm just guessing five years, of course, but at some point in the future, there will be a new expression, a new slang expression based on the cultural references of that time, right? So bay, if you do decide to use it, which is your choice, just know it's going to be a temporary addition to your vocabulary. And if you use it 10 years from now, it will probably sound really weird because it won't be an expression anymore because it's a trend, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, you might be wondering, do I use this expression? Hmm, no, I don't. And there's no specific reason why. I, I generally don't really use trendy slang expressions. It's just not my personal preference. Nothing wrong with it if you do, okay? Just keep that in mind. It's just not my style of communication. Now, before this video, I had never ever said bae in a sentence. So it was a little awkward for me actually because I've never used this expression before and I don't plan on using it in the future. Again, just my personal preference and my communication style. Now, it's still important for me to understand what this expression means because I hear it all the time on TV, on Facebook groups, online, everywhere. So even if you don't want to use this expression, you choose not to, it's still useful to know trendy slang expressions in English so you can understand cultural references, you can understand movies, songs, English, everywhere else that's, you know, in a casual way. So still beneficial for you even if you don't plan to ever use this expression. So let me know in the comments. Have you used this expression? Do you use it now? Do you plan to use it in the future? So I'd be interested to know what you think about this trendy slang expression, bae. All right, so now you know everything you need about this expression. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, don't forget to head on over to my website and download your free speaking guide. And until next time, happy studying. All right, you're back. You're back for more videos. Well, you can check this one out or you can watch this one too. And don't forget to subscribe. You're awesome. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.